Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a great one for you today. We're revisiting Divi Supreme Modules Circle Info Module. And it's a fantastic module. We covered it a year or so ago. People have been having problems with making it responsive. And it's really easy if I just show you this one, if I hit my F12 key. Here it is on an iPhone 12. As you can see, it's working there fine. We click on one of these buttons, the data's changing up there. And similar on iPad. And of course, you can have as many or as few of these buttons as you want at any given time. So let's build one. I'll show you how to work it and I'll show you how to make it responsive like this. I'll also point out where people are probably going wrong when they're building it on mobile. So let's enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down, we'll delete this module and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I've got a row. In my row, I've got two columns here. I'm going to hit the little dark plus to add a new module. Let's roll down. As I said before, this is part of Divi Supreme Modules Pro, which is a premium plugin. Once you add it, it gives you 50 or so extra modules like here, the blue ones, and also several extensions. Now, the one that I want today is the Divi Circle Info Module. And there it is right there. Great little module. When you pop it in, first thing you're going to see is a circle just like this with no actual info or anything there and you can animate this also by enabling autoplay and it'll rotate through your different ones i'm going to leave that off for our demo today you can trigger it on click or you can trigger it on hover if you want to content animation you can have it fade in fade out bounce flash pulse however you want plenty to choose from there i'm going to leave it on the regular fade in great well let's add one I'm going to add a new advanced tab item up here. And there it is. It pops it in right there. Up here is what you want to put for your title. And you can just have an icon instead of a title if you want. By flipping the user icon switch to on. Yeah, let's just find one that says home. And you can pop an icon in there. And you can make it bigger or smaller. Style it over in the design tab if you want to. I'm going to turn that back off. I'm going to put a simple one in there. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible today. And you can have one item active by default if you want to. And it needs to be just one. So just set one of these to active when we've created a few more. Down below we've got the content. Obviously put your title in there. Your description in there. And if you want to, you can use short codes. One of the extensions that Divi Supreme Pro has is it enables you to use short codes from your library to actually display rows, sections, and modules pretty much anywhere you want. And also you can add an icon to this or an image if you want to. I'm going to leave it on the default there. If you want to have a button, just put your button text in there. I'm happy not to have a button. Obviously link it to where you want. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. Here we can decide what color the background is. And as I mentioned earlier, over in design, you can design things in the circle item. You've got the general, which is your font styles and title weights and what have you. And you can have different ones for normal and active also. And in the content, we've got our general, our title and our description there. So while I'm in here, when we're on mobile, I think I'd like my description text to be slightly smaller because if I go down there, the description, text size, roll over it. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you roll over, you'll see some icons appear. If there's a little phone type icon, you can click on it and set different values for tablet and mobile. Let's click on mobile and it's gonna spill off the screen there. That's okay, we'll fix that in a moment. I'm gonna click in the size. I'm gonna get make my text perhaps 12 on mobile. Great. Now we can flip back to desktop back to where we were and like I say once you're happy you can move on so I'm going to save everything I'm happy with that I'm going to hit my save changes 
takes us back to the main Supreme Circle info settings here. Once back in the main settings, I'm going to clone this perhaps four times. And you can have as many or as few as you want, and it will equally space them around the circle there. I'm going to go into the second one. I'm going to make that a two. And I'll change that background color so you can tell the difference when we flip through. Let's make this a little bit darker, perhaps. We're still on number one at the moment to look at the one you just edited. Just click on it. There we go. That's a little bit darker. You can tell the difference between those two. Back to the main settings. Go to number three. Just going to call this three. And I want to change that background back to the original. Just to check. There it is right there. Save it. And number four, and we're done. Great. Well, let's save our changes now and see what we've got. I'm going to hit the little purple button. I'm going to save my draft. Let's exit the Visual Builder. And let's bring up my Google Chrome Responsive Devices, F12. We're on iPad Air. Let's just make this a bit bigger so that you can see. We'll roll down. And there it is. Works fine on iPad Air. Two, three, four. Let's have a look on our iPhone. Now here we've got an issue. It's working, but half of it's off the side of the page here and we can't get to button four. And this is the problem a lot of people have been having. And it's a really easy fix. Let's just get out of responsive devices. I'm going to re-enable my visual builder. Let's roll down, get back into that module. Right in the main settings under content, we've got circle size right here. Now, common to all Divi modules, like we did with the text, if you roll over it, it's got a little mobile phone type icon. Click on it. We can set a different one for tablet. Tablet was working fine. And a different size for phone. Let's click on the phone. As you can see, it's spilling off the side there. Let's perhaps, we'll try 300 pixels. I think that's going to fit okay. Looks like our buttons are over here, but that's just because we're in the editor. When we look in a live browser, you'll find those buttons are actually on the circle there. And when we built these, remember I built in a little responsive text thing, so it dropped the text down a little bit inside for mobile too. And of course, if you need to, you can do that for the title. Those two are both exactly the same. So let's try it now. Let's save our changes. We'll save the page changes. Let's exit the Visual Builder. And we'll roll down. Fine on desktop. Let's hit our F12 kit. There it is on the iPhone. Let's blow it up so you can see it. And yeah, that fits in there nicely. If it doesn't, if you've made your little circles bigger there or smaller, you can adjust the size so it works for you. I made it the size so that text fits on there. Now we've got one, two, three, four. Fantastic. Back to one again. So there you go, guys. There's a fantastic circle info module from Divi Supreme Modules Pro. If you want to learn more about Divi Supreme Modules Pro, we've got a whole playlist on it down below there. So I hope that's helped out and fixed that problem if you are having it with this module. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.